Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. With solar power systems, they're producing all their power during the day, and most people don't actually use all the power that is being produced by their system straight in their property during the day when it's actually been produced by the solar. So, what we recommend you try and do is, you to, uh, is turn on loads during the day so they're utilizing the free power from the sun rather than you having to buy power back at night time from the grid. So one way we do this is by installing a timer such as this one on your hot water system. And uh, with the hot water systems, they're quite a large load. And so they're a perfect thing to have come on say at 9 a.m. in the morning, turn off at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and so during the middle of the day when the sun's been out, it's been, that, that power has been going into the hot water system. What we often do is replace a 3.6 kilowatt element, which is a standard element in a hot water system with a 1.8 kilowatt element. A 1.8 kilowatt element is half the size of the 3.6, and it will still heat up the hot water exactly the same. It will just take twice as long to do so. And when we're running a, the, the hot water system for like eight hours or so, during the day, that's plenty of time for the 1.8 kilowatt element to do its work. So what we'll do now is just have a close look at these timers and how to set them up. So here we have a Hager EHO10 timer. We just take the cover up here. We can see that we've got an arrow pointing up here. That's the direction that the clock, the, the clock dial spins or turns. So up like so, and you can see here we've got a little arrow that points to the current time. So by the timer at the moment, it's about 11.30 in the morning. And we just scroll through. You can see here we've got before 1600 hours, 4 p.m. These little divots are over to the left. After that time, they're over on the right. With the Hager timers, if they're over on the left, like so, they're on. If they're over to the right, they're off. So at the moment, this one's turning off at 1600 hours, 4 p.m. And we scroll through. It's off all night, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. It's on again at 8 a.m. in the morning. And so what you would do is just find out what the current time is. So say it's 1 p.m., we're just gonna scroll through to 1300 so 1300 is pointing at the arrow there and that's the current time now we've got a little switch here as well which is has got auto at the top and i down the bottom so if it's set on auto it's automatically controlled by this timer if you set it down to i down like that it's always on so it overrides the timer and it is always on so normally you just have it on the auto button so it's controlled by the timer and set it to the current time and away it should go nicely. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.